Well, it might be a little bit bigger deer than I realized. <laughs> <laughs> Come back! Yeah. They always look bigger so than So then I look over at Joe and he's like, Get up. Get up. Archie. Don't listen to daddy. I give you permission. Okay, here's the deal. In 87, a dream was set into motion. For years, they've been in millions of your living rooms. No couple has traveled the globe to bring you the adventures they do sport. Nah, it's a way of life. North America's favorite hunting couple are the real deal. They live at full draw. Close Encounters is what they do. It's not about glory, hype, or fame. It's about those nails, baby. Draw, anchor, aim, release. Bucks, bears, bulls, birds, tree stands, ground blind, spot and stalk. Now that's what we're talking about. Real hunting, real people, real adventure. We are the Archer's Choice. Easy! Oh my gosh! Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. Yeah, this week we're heading up to North Dakota and we're doing it quietly because we're in a bad boy. That's right, we're gonna go up to North Dakota, up to Double B Outfitters. Double B Outfitters. That's right, and this week's lucky logo is Stealth Stimulus Camp. package. Stealth cam, Stealth again, the cam. show will tell you what to do with that. Put the so cameras out, Stealth you're gonna cam. find out what's in your area. Hmm. Okay, well, now listen, let's just go sneak up on some mushrooms. Okay. Okay. Wait, there's one there. Where is it, Vic? Over there. See, oh, look at it. Oh, good eyes. Yeah, now let's just get into Lee's hunt. Let's yes. pick the mushroom, let's go find some more. Lee, the first night out. Yeah. How did you see that? Mushroom Pretty good. eyes. Thank oh, goodness no, no, no. it wasn't in real tree, you'd never see it. <laughs> Would you just get the mushroom, let's go find more. Well, Brent, we got her done. We did. That was exciting for me. Good job, bud. You know, this deer came in twice, and uh, the first time it, it, it didn't booger, but it just eased off back into the timber, didn't yeah. like something, and a couple of the does went with him. Yeah. But then it was about 10 minutes later, and he came back. And yeah. he came right back out of that timber, and he watched us again. And that time I said, you know, if, if, if he gives me a 32-yard shot like he did the first time, I'm going to try and take him, sure. and, and it worked yeah. out pretty well, you know. Well, I just appreciate all the hard work You're you guys welcome. do at Double B. I mean, what a fabulous outfit, You're welcome. and we saw lots of deer tonight, and the other guys saw deer, and, yeah. and uh, what a great experience and, and a real blessing for me. That's great. Yeah, appreciate thank you. Oh. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Lee. That was great. I think this is the, the, the Mother Nature's toll booth. 
Out of way, Lee, buddy, congratulations. Now we're going to join Vicki as she finds out what North Dakota weather could be oh, like. Oh, cold and rainy day. North Dakota rain. Mm -hmm. Oh, you betcha. Windy, windy okay, rain. don't go anywhere. Yeah, be right back. They're here. I, ooh, right there. Right here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, another one. Ha. No, I'm supposed to find them all. What are you doing? Those are mine. Oh. Look okay, at, this there's, is a look fresh at. one. Oh, yeah, look at the new one. Ow, there's a barbed wire. Hey, now let's, let's get back and see how North Dakota weather treats the Vickster. Oh, look at that. They're like getting 50 bucks a pound for these. Lunchtime, you were supposed to leave the bottoms in the ground. It's October 21st. We're up here in North Dakota with Double B Outfitters, the Brant Brothers. It's about 40 degrees outside. It's been raining all day. We're out in the Maristep ground blind. We're gonna stay pretty dry. And then there's some drips coming on because it's been raining all day long. But we're set up again, kind of in a bit of a cornfield. There's a hedgerow between us and the cornfield over there. David and John had seen a lot of deer just passing through here quite often, especially earlier season. They're not really sure what's been going through here the last couple days, the last couple weeks. We're gonna sit here and find out. What else can you do? Can you see my quiver? <laughs> Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. A lot of us carry a lot of stuff in our backpacks or fanny packs, and most of the time we never use it. Well, one of the things that we found, you know, years ago we used to use the clothespins, the little wood ones, but they don't hold up. They don't have enough mm, bite. We were going through a store once and found these. They come in a sorted pack. Yeah, they're bright, but that's good because I lose everything. Ask Vicky. Clamp these little suckers on. You put your camouflage netting like HS has. Real cheap, inexpensive, it carry, we carry it everywhere we go. Like if you, all of a sudden you're in a wallow and you need to hurry up and set up, you don't have your ground blind, so you set up this netting, well, you clamp them on with these clamps. I mean, they, they bite hard. So what it does is it allows you to hurry up and move or take down, or you get in your tree stand and you don't have a lot of foliage, you need to create some background to break up that human silhouette. You take the little bigger ones, Put a limb right in between there, clamp that on your stand, and now you create foliage. That is your Bologna World Tip of the Week. Because I wanted to look at him. He had beautiful main beams, big mass on the bottom. 
but he didn't have any, he had just, he was almost like a six point. Awesome, I guards. When I finally went, yeah, I'm gonna take him. He ran off. I hope I don't regret that. Ooh, we're getting it. We need the bag though, my hat. Where's your bag? Hey, knock it off, hey. Okay, should we go duck hunting? Yes, we're gonna go waterfowl hunting, our annual waterfowl hunt with Double B. Hmm, yeah. Vicky. We have a lot of fun. That was a pretty hard buck to pass up there, girl. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, oh you bet you by God. We oh, got yeah. lots it's of Shh, don't tell anyone where we're at. Okay, yeah. Shh, shh, quiet. That's... Okay, now we're gonna get into our annual duck hunt with Tom and yes. RJ's up there hunting with us too. Oh yeah, and he's having a blast. Yeah. Ooh. Besides having some phenomenal deer hunting, Ooh. we are doing our annual what? Duck hunting? Duck hunt. Yes. <gasps> And RJ's gonna be the dog. I have weird, I have a weird hat. We got well, two dogs, me hmm? and then Toppy. Yep. Now you gotta run out and retrieve them, okay. and you can't pick them up, you gotta bite them. Oh, no, I'm gonna pick them up with my hands. Shake, shake. <laughs> we got them. Get up, get up. <laughs> Don't listen to daddy, I give you permission. Don't listen to daddy. Whack 'em and stack 'em. Oh. Shoot him! Shoot him! Break, stake him! Good shot, Tom! Copy! Take him! Good shot! Nice break! Both breaks. Both breaks. Both breaks. Good job. Cup. The great. Tom. Great. Hey Tom, I hate to tell you this. Yeah. But I got those on film. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lot of fun hunting them ducks. Now it's Tommy's turn to go deer hunting. The temperatures really dropped today. There's a front moving in. The uh, wind's coming out of the south, so we had to move into a box blind. You can hear it, it's picking up really good. So, see what starts to move here as it gets later in the day. Let's wait and see what else is happening. And at the very end there, when he turns and he starts to walk away. He looked bigger. And Joe zooms in on him, he looked a lot bigger. <laughs> a little bit of uh, adrenaline kicked in, and then it was like, well, you know, it's early, it's only 5.30, and then I'll... and then it runs off, and I look at it, and I'm like, well, that might be a little bit bigger deer than I realized. <laughs> Come back! Running away. Yeah. They always look bigger so then. then I look over Joe, and he's like, you know. <laughs> now you guys tell us if Tommy should have shot this deer. Well, you know I would have shot him. <laughs> Looked at him. He had mass on that road. Yeah, he's, he's got some mass. Look at those brow ties. Mm. I don't know if I'd have passed him up. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good deer. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, I'll Ooh. bet you're gonna, re he's gonna regret that. He might Ooh. regret that, you know what, it'll be bigger next year. Yep. When we come back, we'll see if you can get one. That's right, it's my turn. Mm. Let's go mushrooms. Mm. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now let's it's see if Ralph can go ahead and get his North Dakota North Dakota, Dakota you betcha bucks. Oh, you betcha. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you betcha. Let's just keep going. There's gotta be more like mushrooms. <laughs> oh, geez, Ralph, what are you doing? Let's get your deer. night I'm getting on here at Double B. I've been filming Vicky and we've had some bucks. We've had some great encounters. We're just hoping to see maybe change our luck a little bit. We're in a box blind and these blinds these guys built a few years back because of the severe winds and the cold. Something like you'd be used to but being up hunting in Canada. We got one window though so we're trying to film and shoot out of a window. We're overlooking. They've got a big 
big swamp right out here to the, to the, to the east. Got big prairie flatland grasslands. Got a bedding area to the west. We got corn directly to the west of us. We got soybeans right below us. We'll see what happens. Well, we just radioed the Brants. The Brants, baby! <laughs> we were in the new the new North Dakota condo, the Brants condo. I mean, you could probably rent these out after season. We came, the bucks came in there. We shot him, he ran. He was at a heavy quarter and away. You know what I mean? So I took him right in the back, going right into him. And I mean, he, from there, guys, look at. All right, now I, I can't see, because here he is, look at. Oh, man, he's a <laughs> yeah, baby. Come here. Yes. Nice part of it is, is when you get a shot, you get her done. Oh, yeah. buddy. Just a beautiful deer. Yes, he is. Good beam. You know what I mean? He came up and see how thick. I was like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Guys, we saw, as usual, I mean, we just saw some outrageous deer. Shh, watch this, Vic. Yeah. I found him? the mother load. Holy cow! Look in here. Ralph, did you take those out of my refrigerator? Yes. I like to turkey hunt the same way. Just go buy them. Not in the freezer. <laughs> well, congratulations on your buck. Thank it was a you. Beautiful buck. That well, I was pumped. It was kind of hard. You and I sitting in the blind and and our those backs. Those box blinds I'm trying are killers. to film and you're trying to shoot and we're pushing each other back and forth in that little window there. That was kind of fun. We're always pushing each other though back and forth. I know. Yes. Even when we're hunting, you're supposed to be serious and you're not. David, jo the the double B, the Brants. I mean, thank you guys so Susie, much for having us so up much. there. And Tom and Tom Lee, thanks and Lee for joining for ch us. Yep. I mean, just that's what it's all about. RJ, yeah, thanks for got him out of school. Buddy. That's right. Ooh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you happen to see the Stealth Cam, luck, the Stealth Cam Lucky logo, that was easier to Stimulus say. Stimulus package, you wouldn't have that issue. Log on to archerschoice.com, press the Lucky Logo button, and fill out some information. Someone's going to win a great Stealth Cam product. Ooh, some cool stuff. That's right. Well, we hope you enjoyed the show. And, ah, oh, geez, maybe we'll see you again next week, huh, Ralph? Yeah, same time. Oh, same channel right here on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. <laughs>